what is up guys this is your boy superior streamer and today i want to talk about the features that are currently in the base game um these are features that i want that i think can improve just the base game and make the game more fun um i feel like some of these features on this list are outdated that need to be updated and that's what i want to talk about today again thank you guys so much for support um thank you for getting me to 1k i greatly appreciate it uh yeah let's get into the video also i do have a twitter and a twitch if you guys want to follow that link in the description uh greatly appreciate it um yeah so let's start so first off i want to talk about the dating system in the sims 4 um i definitely like like how it was in the beginning because it was goal oriented and i kind of gave you an incentive to want to get like the best uh you know level you can and get the uh like bronze silver or gold uh rewards but i think after a while it comes super repetitive and it's just not fun anymore um i really like what they did in the sims one hot day shout out if you guys know that pack um you know it gave you incentive to go out you can buy gifts for your day um you know do different stuff i don't i'm going off of this memory but i think the dating in that was really really cool um of course nightlife too was really nice because it wasn't just um you know like it wasn't it wasn't just simplistic stuff like sims 1 it kind of dove deeper into the whole wants and fears on the dates um like you know the sim would want to do stuff with that current sim on the date and there was different things you could do together um so i really want something just more deeper than that i feel like i feel like the only way we'll get something like that is with a pack but at the end of the day they still have the dating system in the base game so i don't see why they couldn't just overhaul it um and give us something a little bit more deeper um i personally feel like they could do that so yeah i just want a better dating system in the game just give us more reasons to go out um somehow tying in dying out because dying out definitely uh you know gives us an introduction to those uh sims 2 sims 1 vibes of like the dating era that we had there um but i feel like we just need more of that um so hopefully I, we'll see something like that get updated um i feel like it will probably end up being some type of dlc which is again like shake my head like bro like why you know why is everything just has to be like why is everything that could be in the game like paid for you know but yeah uh something like that into implemented would be really cool uh next up this is cars um so i put this in the like i guess uh, a game update category because um i count like the rocket ship as some type of vehicle even though it doesn't really take us like to different locations it's like kind of like a rabbit hole um but i mean and because in the past sims games we have gotten vehicles for free like bikes bicycles cars um why did i say bicycle could i say bike why am i trying to be fancy bikes cars so <laughs> we got all that stuff in base game so i feel like we should be able to get that stuff in base game too um i'm pretty sure we don't have any base game bikes or anything i think they're all from like different packs like discovery university and cottage of living and stuff like that so yeah i really want more um just you know vehicle transportation in the game they can this is what they can do okay they can give us like this basic um not basic but they can give us like like you know really trashy just uh crap junk cars and then we can kind of build our way up to like a tesla or something like in the, in the like a free game update and then if they want to expand on the cars and vehicles or scooters or whatever um even hoverboards because i know they did that too like with the sims 3 exchange like they went crazy over there with the sims 3 exchange if they want to like give us like dlc like a sims 4 fast lane stuff okay cool like i'm definitely down for that um you know give us base game cars first and then if you want to give us like like fancy stuff later then okay like you can put it in like a kit or a stuff pack I don't know like like they can definitely give us like a fast lane but for sims 4 i would be down to buy that but i want a just to just to clarify i want a free update for cars first and no one should be like oh no we need to pay for this because it's the sims 4 and, and the gurus need to make money like bro no stop it okay because all the sims games we've gotten cars for free it doesn't make sense to pay for something that should be in a life simulation game I'm not even gonna debate this. If anyone says that this stuff should be paid, you're you're crazy. I'm sorry. Like I don't know what to I don't know what to say. But yeah, a fast lane um Sims 4 thing would be cool to improve it. But I want a free game update of cars. They can give us like a trashy one and then you know we can get to like the fancy one or something like that. 
um and then just have it like you know uh workable you know like workable yeah like functional functional so we can use it to drive um we can have the option to like uh take kids to school with it i wish they gave us like back in the day when we did the poll for like what pack we wanted to create instead of like laundry day i wish like cars was like a thing i mean only, like i would say like again i don't want to pay, pay for cars it's a life simulation game cars are cars are the cars are actually in the game too that's the funny thing like 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 how 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 do we have rocket ships before cars in a simulation game and it's been like eight nine eight years like i don't i don't that doesn't make any sense to me but yeah no um definitely want that and then if they want to do like a fixer upper car with that stuff pack i'm down for that you know that could be like a hobby like how they had in the sims 2 the fixer upper car in sims 2 was so dope i don't know if it was in the sims 1 but i feel like it was just in the sims 2 um and i really like that i really like that like the family could build it together and um you could customize it and then like paint the color and then you know teens can go get their driver's license um that wasn't with sims 2 but i'm saying they could do that too so yeah there's so many options with cars there's so much storytelling we could do uh but again we need that in a base game update i don't care if they give us the crappiest car just give us something at this point because it's been way too long but yes um you know a car update would be really cool next up robbers i feel like robbers should be in the game um you know i've fortunately have never been robbed in my house before but i still want to experience that in my simulation game like i want i want twists and turns when i play my sims game and i feel like having robbers would be such a cool thing and of course you can react differently depending on your sims traits and personality likes and dislikes like if they're brave um or bold or whatever um or confident whatever the traits are you know they can take care of the robber if they're scared they can offer the robber to like take their simoleons and they'll rock i don't know i mean they're getting <laughs> they're getting robbed anyway so i don't i don't see why you're gonna give them a, a bonus to like rob you more that doesn't even make sense my bad but yeah i just want more of that again it just adds more realism to the game um i think it would be really cool to have that so much storytelling there and like again it just makes it more like just different you know you can really tell those stories with robbers and stuff like that it's self-explanatory i don't even have to explain this i just think we need robbers in a game i think it's time um like yeah like i think the closest thing we have to a robber is vladis house vladis you know what i'm trying to say the vampire dude the bald-headed dude from the vampire's game pack breaking into our houses and like sucking our blood that's like the closest thing we have to robbers so yeah we desperately need um an update with robbers in the game uh, lastly this is kind of minimal it's not like nothing too crazy but i would like a kind of uh ui like custom ui so we can kind of change the color of our ui like we can make it like green purple yellow instead of just like the basic white that we have i know you could probably change it with mods or like reshade but obviously you know for those people who don't want to do all that um i think that would be like the next best thing to have like some type of um this ui overall be able to customize the colors uh, just like how we have with the phones like stuff like that um i think that would be really cool because i know there's a lot of people who do that anyway with mods so they might as well just put it in the game for us i feel like they can do it um even give us like a i think we do have a do we have a dark mode in this room story i don't know if we do i remember there was like a talk about that but i think that was just like that was them teasing werewolves and people thought it was like dark mode um, i don't think we have that in the game because i would have definitely had to put that on if we did but yeah something like just a ui um update would be really cool but um yeah this is my list guys of just updates that i want to see in the game other than like obviously bugs and fixes because i know there's a lot of bugs and fixes um i don't really experience that much bugs and fixes in my game personally that's why i usually don't talk about it on the channel but i know a lot of people are kind of struggling with that stuff um i know some people haven't been able to play their games uh you know because of like the ea app and stuff like that i mean that has nothing to do with the game itself but yeah uh it's, it's, it's a damn shame um so i hope hopefully hopefully you guys get that fixed i know it's not everybody but some people um but yeah i guess it's bugs and fixes too stuff like that um but yeah that is my list uh comment down below um you know if you agree disagree what updates would you see i know you guys did uh comment about some updates here um also again comment down what expansion packs you want to see in the sims 4 because that's my next video i'm going to be talking about this like packs that i want to see that help improve the game because again i feel like this game can definitely reach its like full potential but it just needs to be in the right direction and i think growing together like i said is um you know that first step so yeah again thank you guys so much for watching this is your boy uh superior simmers stay cool stay awesome stay superior have a nice day